Hello there, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer, the Maker Behind Stamped AF, and it is Wednesday, February 19th, and it's 7.31. And I am just going to wait for a couple of people to pop on. I will share this as I am waiting. I know there's always a delay in it popping up. Erin, I have a little treat for you tonight, lady. Also, I think we need to talk after this because I think I owe you something besides the treat I'm giving you tonight. <laughs> uh, just gonna pull this up. Hi, Megan. Hi, Julie. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it was so easy to find tonight. Okay, volume down. Okay, so hi, Michelle. Hi, Megan. It's good evening. Good morning to you. Uh, hi, Barb. I am going to do the draw for last sharing last week's Facebook Live after this because I was kind of crafting into the last minute. If you watched me last week, you know that it's been hectic around here. So, hi, Anna. Hi, Pam. Who said howdy, y'all? Michelle said howdy, y'all. Um... It's been a little hectic. So I have some stuff I have to get in the mail. I've been terribly delinquent there. Uh, and I will draw for last week's shared share prize after this goes live. And there was bad news today. Not like terrible, not end of the world, everything is fine. But this is sold out. The metallic twine and the sequins, they're sold out. Boo. So I have one here from last week's that I still have to mail out. And then I have, what was it? You know what, I don't even know. I have two, well, let's do this one today. I know it's backwards, I'm so sorry. Denmark, wowee. Um, my ex-mother-in-law is from Faroe Islands, which is, pretty close to Denmark. Hello, beautiful Jenny. Thank you for watching. Uh, so this week's share prize will be the Thoughtful Blooms. To be honest, I don't remember what it was last week, but I will look that up and I will draw after this because literally I was crafting up until the last minute and I wanted you to know what we were going to be making instead of uh, drawing for the prize because you're going to find out anyways, right? So, um, yeah, not a whole lot of housekeeping this week. Not a whole lot. Um, my daughter's doing okay. If you watched last week, you know they're, like I said, it was hectic. Daughter's doing okay. Overall, I can't complain. Uh, I hope so, Pam, but it, in the past, it hasn't happened that way. I always think when something's super popular and it sells out, they should put it in the new caddy, but they don't. Case and point. This is my BOGO basket. And there's another one over there. I have to list them on a retired uh, Stampin' Up! group to get rid of this stuff. It's just sitting here. Case and point was the Delicata inks. I finally got all three just in time for them to sell out. So I couldn't even use them. I think uh, the gold has been used once because I got it just before it sold out. These two used a little bit more. I don't have the refills, but apparently you can get those on Amazon. But I have these as part of my BOGO. So for my local people and for my team members, if you would like to get your hands on these inks, let me know. It will be first come, first serve. Um, Speaking of team, my team has doubled and then some during celebration. I'm so, so, so excited. Uh, it is a small team. So I'm up to seven. Not a huge number, but considering that I've been in this for, I'm going on three years, I'm small time. I mean, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for watching me. But we've grown to seven and I hope to keep growing. Uh, I need a silver under me to promote to the next level, which is where I wanna be. I will be happy if I am at Silver Elite forever. 
once I get there, I want to stay there and I'm happy not to go any further. That's good. Um, Silver Elite is like the sweet spot. You usually can earn the incentive trips. You have a team under you. It's just, it's a sweet spot to be. So I want to get there and I'm happy if I stay there. So keep plugging along and moving forward. But um, I, I won't keep you long on this part. I'm going to flip this around right away. A couple of the perks of being on my team, whether you live in Winnipeg or you are in Canada somewhere, is um, so we have a group, a Facebook group. Hi, Tori, um, which will get more active as the group grows and people are, um, I want to say integrating, but that's not the word. Uh, interacting. <laughs> my memory. Oh boy. Um, thank you, Megan. So we have a Facebook group. You get the Stamping Society free each month. You get any of the online classes that I'm doing each month for free, like the PDF, not the card kit. You get Creativity Without Borders PDF for free. You get access to Pretty AF for free. You get First Kick of the Can at my Bobos. Just so many things. And I mean, you get a little old me. Um, so I think that's it for now. If you have ever thought about joining Stampin' Up, now is the time. We still have, I think we're at the midpoint, just past the midpoint of celebration. And so there's like five weeks left. You can join, you can get the little mini paper trimmer, which is so cute and that's the only way you can get it now. You can get the six by six DSP sampler pack and you can also choose a stamp set of your choice. So, just reading a message. <laughs> um, you can get a stamp set of your choice. So like the well said stamp set, I've mentioned this in my video this week. This is actually a two case stamp set, but I don't have room for two cases. So I combine them all into one, but you can get a double stamp set like this for free. There's no obligation to stay on as a demonstrator, but I mean, I'm running this as a business. You definitely don't have to, but just the discount alone is worth it. It's so, so worth it. If you're going to be crafting and spending the money anyways, you might as well get your own discount while you're doing it and then get all the freebies from being on my team. So that's enough about that. I'm going to flip this around and we are going to make three things as we have become accustomed to. I am going to try something different when I put the camera down. So by request, I am trying these wireless headphones. I'm sure hoping there's a mic in here because I don't know. I think so. It says that you can answer calls on here. So I'm hoping it works. So we'll have a little test period when I flip this down. And look, the earbuds are magnetic. <laughs> So I'm going to give this a try because I know that when I start crafting and I'm looking down, I don't speak up towards the camera and it can be hard to hear me. So let's give this a shot. And I heard that Bluetooth uh, wireless speakers were the best ones to get. So let's try it, shall we? I was listening to music on them this morning and it was okay, but I feel like these things are a little big. So bear with me. This is going to be um, just a little growing pain and then will be all set, right? Uh, so I'm going to flip around. I'm going to cover up my camera so it doesn't make you sick. My son has decided now to take a shower. I always have to check his water temperature, so I'm not going to be able to do that now. Okay, so this will be the prize for the sharing draw next Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it was the... Um, what was it last week? Was it a stamp set? Was it this one? I honestly, I don't remember. I know I have stuff to mail out. I've been bad. Anyways, where do we want to start with projects? I've got three. And I put it out there for you to tell me what you want to see. I'm so glad I finally figured out the Zoom. Oh, 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 oh. Let me, oh, I gotta turn this on. Sorry, like I said, there might be like a growing pain here. Turn it on, power on. Hi, Patty. Oh, this is awkward. Just trying some Bluetooth 
headphones slash mic that I hope works. So I've got my earbud in now. So let me know if that is any better. Hi Rhonda, you're coming in at kind of a funny time. I'm just testing out to see if this new headset that I got will work as a microphone as well. I hope you can hear me. Let's take this off and see. Is it on? Just bear with me one minute here. Oh, we need to focus. There we go. Just one minute. I don't know if you can hear me. What the heck? You can hear me? Okay, right now I don't have them on, but it also doesn't look like it's turned on. Okay, let's try that. I wish you guys could talk. It'd be like a whole interactive thing. Is that better? Can you? Okay, so right now I'm standing, which is when you can hear me fine. Let me sit down and see how that works. This is super weird because I mean, you're not saying anything. So it's not like I have these in to hear. Okay. Now that I'm sitting, is it any better? Da -da -da. There's a delay. Any better? I know Michelle just said not really. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. Um, Michelle, can you turn the volume up on your end and see? I just turned it up here. <laughs> the click of the volume, Megan? No, I'm probably like screaming at you like, stop, stop! anyone watching me for the first time this is not usually how it is we're testing out new technology <laughs> this is funny reading the comments okay well let me know I'm just gonna start going I'm gonna give you your choice we're making three cards so I had a request I had a request that I saw luckily before it wasn't there anymore and it was for the honeybee bundle or a fun fold. Uh, I'm sorry, Gilmar. <laughs> You've caught us in a, a funny time with a technology um, change. We'll see how this goes. The problem is when I sit down, I don't look up to my phone anymore and my voice tends to fade. Okay, so there's enough saying that they can hear me. So, okay. We have three choices. These are the same thing, just different designs. So this is a little honeybee uh, sour cream container that has holes in it. So one of them just says, hello. One of them says, hey friend, I wanted to put something that says get well. And all you have to do is untie this. Half the people in my department at work have a cold, so. Um, I used tear and tape and of course it wouldn't stay closed before and now it's gonna make me look like an idiot because it probably won't open but if you don't use the tear and tape if you just punch a hole and then put your ribbon in it um, it might pop out a little bit but it would be easy to open so right now both of these just have honey holes in them and they're adorable so one with the vellum um, honey comb not hive and you can kind of see them in there. This one, you can't see anything. And there are two different types of um, lozenges. I wanted something fun that was honey themed. And all I could find was cough candies. And they looked so neat on the outside. It looked like it was gonna be like an actual textured candy. Not that I was gonna unwrap them and put them in there, but they're both just plain old hauls. It's like false advertising. Okay, I'm basically gonna tear this one apart to get it open. Aren't they, Aaron? 
I thought you might like these. It's not exactly a fun fold, but it is using the honeybee and it is something that's super easy to make and it's fun. Okay, I'm destroying this one. <laughs> I want to be able to show you what's in here. Okay, so definitely don't use the tear and tape, which is ironic because when I made it with the tear and tape, it would not stay together, which is why I ended up punching the hole in it and putting the string. Okay, so those ones are just honey hulls. So I think we'll make this one so that you can see that little bit of vellum. I'm gonna do this one last because I know there were some that didn't really care to see anything with the honeybee. So we'll do this one last. So if you want to um, watch this one, stick around to the end or catch it on the replay. If you don't, then after we're done these two, you can move along to whatever you were planning on doing. But you can see that you can use, this is actually the um, Follow Your Art DSP, which is a lovely like brush stroke. So I use that one, but you can also use the Golden Honey paper, which is unfortunately now on back order, but I'm gonna show you with another piece of this because I have so much of this paper, but we'll do the vellum cutout, I think. Okay. So, I know Megan was asking for the Rise and Shine, which is part of the second release of Celebration. Thank you, Erin. Uh, so this will be available March 4th, March 3rd. One of those two dates, I'm sorry, off the top of my head, I can't remember. But the catalog is now live and available. So if you need, it's March 3rd. If you need your own copy of this, uh, just send me a message and I can get one of those off to you. But this is everything that comes in there. So while it looks like there's a ton of stamps, it's actually, this is some of the stuff I was playing around with the other day because this is my, this set, this bundle, whatever it is, is my um, Facebook Live in Pretty AF next week. So I was doing some playing around and making some samples. And if you caught my Instagram um, page or Facebook story, you saw this. There is actually hearts and there's coffee in there, which I thought you'd be able to smell, but you can't. All I can smell is cardstock. So maybe if you punched a couple tiny little holes, you might get the scent of coffee. But I thought this was cute and it's actually the tulip punch. Oops, this one's coming out. It's the tulip punch that I used with the vellum and just glued it in there. Except apparently not this one. So this is on Instagram and it was in my Facebook story yesterday. So this is going to be a fun one to play with and it's super cute when you stack the vellum on top of each other. So you've got like steam going over steam. I thought it was fun. So embossed, um, stenciled, and just stamped. I don't even drink coffee, but, but first coffee. Okay, so Megan requested this one. So we're going to case Mary Fish. I love, love, love Mary Fish. She has such a beautiful, elegant style. Her business is uh, stampin' pretty, and everything she does is pretty. Now. When I do it this time, I'm going to make sure that my mug is in the center because this time it's a little bit off. And then I also had some requests for baby cards. Now in my world, my first ever niece was born today. She is nine weeks early, nine. So she's gonna be in the hospital for six weeks, but she is breathing on her own. She is doing well, she's a good weight and mom and dad are both okay. I mean, dad's okay. <laughs> uh, and baby's birthday is two days before her dad's birthday, which is kind of like my son and I. His birthday is three days before mine. So happy birthday to my brother and sister-in-law. Well, to my brother. Happy mama's day to my sister-in-law. So I thought this was perfect timing. I know there are babies being born all the time, but getting that request for a baby shower or a new baby card, I'm like, yeah, I got a new niece and she lives in the city. So it's going to be so exciting. The only, um, you know what? I shouldn't say that. She's not my only niece. She's my second niece. The other one is through marriage and we don't see each other a whole lot. So, um, so this is my first, 
related by blood, niece. So everything in her nursery is uh, purplish. So I thought this would be a super cute card. And all I did for this one was a very quick watercolor. It's not even on watercolor paper, so there's a bit of tiny little buckle. But we're gonna do this and you can tell me with the Welcome Easter stamp set, because these little animals are just so cute, you get to decide. I've chosen the paper, so we're going to use this from the Best Dressed DSP. That's where this came from as well. It's Purple Posy. There's not a lot of options with Purple Posy. So you get to decide whether we're gonna do the bunny or the chick. And we'll do kind of the same idea on here. We'll put some kind of band across the back and then you also get to choose whether I'm going to watercolor or color with blends. So, chick, bunny, blends, watercolor, and go. <laughs> While you are deciding on that, I am going to get what I need to make this card. We'll start with that one, then we'll do the baby card, then we'll do the honeybee. So I just need to get a couple of things. Okay, we have one vote for the bunny. Um, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to use DSP for this card. So now that Valentine's Day is over, I don't know about you, but I've got all of this heartfelt paper that I'm like, okay, great, now what? So we're gonna use some of that on this card. Okay, one vote for bunny, one vote for watercolor. Okay, so we can use any of these. I'll pick this one because you're still picking the last choice. Ooh, we could do the arrows, that might be cute. I have to say this one is one of my favorites in here. Okay, two votes for Bunny. We could have that as the mug. Or I have an idea. We're gonna do the same background. And then the part that I cut out for the mug will be in the middle here, so we're not wasting any. Okay, two votes for bunny. Bunny or chick. I want to play like the Jeopardy music. I'm not going to hum though. Bunny and watercolor. Okay, we got two for watercolor, three for bunny. Jenny, what was your suggestion on technique? Blends or watercolor? You know, it's funny, I recently had someone ask how I get people engaged in my Facebook Live, and I don't remember if I told you this, if I did, my apologies. But I said, you know, I, I ask, I poll them. I ask them to choose what we're gonna do. And I think that that keeps people a little more engaged, right? I could be wrong, but it seems to be working. I know while my numbers aren't huge, you all just comment and you're just the sweetest. So thank you for watching. Okay, I'm gonna get a piece of real red because we need to cut this one as well. I love these dies. Oh, look at that. I just happen to have a piece right here. I'm gonna run that one through my big shot. And I'm stepping away from my phone. I just want to make sure that you can hear me even when I'm away from it. Like to you, does it sound like I'm talking through a microphone or does it sound like I'm still talking through my phone? Does it sound like I'm a room away or right here? Okay, there's the real red. Here is the big one. Sorry if that shook the table. Oh, Jenny just loves bunnies. Okay, you know what? We have three for watercolor, so I think we're gonna do that. I did some coloring with blends last night and uh, it was a great time. I wasn't sitting in my craft room, I was sitting in the living room. My daughter wanted to watch a show. Uh, I don't know if anyone has seen Impractical Jokers. It's on Netflix now. They are hilarious. So I sat there, I had stamped a bunch of images, brought out a bunch of blends, and did some coloring. And oh, was it good therapy. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna cut my mug out of here. Hi, Deborah. 
I hope all is doing well with you, lady. Thinking about you. Oh, I'm so glad, Gilmore. Thank you. Oh, that's so good. I got this thing on Amazon and it wasn't very much. I mean, I think it was less than 20 bucks, maybe a little bit more. And uh, seems like it was worth it, huh? I'm gonna do a left, right-handed mug this time. The only thing that's weird is that I have an earbud in my ear, but it's not actually like I, it's not like I'm listening to you. I'm gonna take that out because it seems really weird. Put those back on. Watch, I'm gonna forget that I have this on and I'll have it on all night. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Um, Gilmore, I'm just gonna take it off for a second. So, this is what it is. I can absolutely post the link. It was Tech Vita, and I don't think they post a picture of the box. But if they do, this was it. And it didn't come, it's supposed to come apparently with um, like earbud, like different sizes of those, but it didn't. It also didn't come with a USB charger, but I happen to have one from something else. So, I'm so glad that that works. Megan, you definitely need to get those dies. Oh, are you talking about the cup of cheer? Or they're so sentimental. Either way, you need to get them. I'm uh, a big enabler, aren't I? I had someone comment on one of my videos, well, this week's video, that she hadn't thought about getting the sending you flowers dies until she saw mine and another demonstrator's projects. So I have, if you didn't catch my video, or if you don't know, I have a YouTube channel. It's Snapped AF, and I use this one to create this card. Well, actually I have another version of it too, but I have one that has a navy purple sky and then this one's like a um, right at sunset. So you can check that out. But she had said, oh, now I've got to get these dies. I said, my comment or my reply was uh, happy to enable. <laughs> Okay, so we have that. Now this time I am gonna tell you that if you go to use this as your steam, don't just go and emboss it willy-nilly. Make sure that your mug is centered on here. Like if you wanna see the stitching, line this up first because I just did my steam and then I had to put my cup to match it and you can see it's totally off center and it's bugging me, but it's stuck like that now. Yes, the cup of cheer. Now, the only problem with the cup of cheer is that now all of the coordinating dies are Christmas, which kind of stinks, but the cups still work. The tea bag die still works. Uh, I can't really show you any more than the card I showed you on, well, earlier, because everything else I've created using this one is for my Pretty AF group next week. But the steam, there's a few different options that you can use. Uh, one is the tulip punch. One is the embossing. And then there's one more. And this one's a little surprising. There's probably more. But this one was the first one that I thought of. The Parisian Beauty, if you use this, and I did use it on one of my projects. I just can't show it to you yet. But if you use this one, it makes a beautiful flourish of steam. So, there you go. Try doing that without knocking my iPad down. Okay, so let's get to heat embossing. Try fit that mug again. Make sure that there's some room on the top. So it's not going to be in the middle of the cardstock, and that is fine. I just want my mug to be centered. I don't want my handle hanging off like it did on that one. So what is everyone up to tonight besides watching me? What are you doing? What are you drinking? I mean, for Megan, it's in the morning, so probably coffee, right? 
I have Coke Zero because I just can't quit. And then after this, I am making up some more Welcome to the Team cards to welcome my new ladies. So grateful that people trust me and sign up with me and all the more flattering, I think, when it's someone that has the choice of anyone across the country and they choose me. Okay, I'm going to turn on my heat tool, so if you don't want the sound of that, just mute me for a second. what this is down here. It's like a little speck. And I don't think it's going to come out. You know what, Megan? I have not really had a chance to play with that paper yet. Hey, lady, did you join finally? If you're playing with that, something tells me you joined. You finally bit the bullet and joined. Which make me so happy. I mean, it doesn't impact me one way or the other, but you get your discount. I just had a team member reach Bronze Elite status this week, and I congratulated her, and she's like, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I'm like, uh-oh. Well, that means I'm not really doing my job. Um, so in Stampin' Up! there are different levels. I was saying earlier that uh, my goal is to get to Silver Elite. Uh, with Bronze Elite, you, everyone starts off at Bronze. With Bronze Elite, you bump up to the maximum of 25% discount. There are different ways to get... Um, like a larger discount basically with a volume rebate but that typically means that you're selling like you're running it as a business but as a hobby demonstrator or someone who's just building 25 percent is the maximum discount you can get and when we're saying the word discount 25 percent is the max you can get there are, it, it's complex there's a full compensation plan um, but it also means that you get flex points for advancing, you get flex points for maintaining your title, and flex points can be used to get free product. So it is fantastic. Now, because I cut my mug out of there, I'm not going to pop this up on dimensionals because I don't want anyone to see that I did that. So I am going to glue it. Oh, that's so great, Megan! Welcome to the Stampin' Up! family. I'm guessing you mean Kylie Bertucci. She is fantastic. I was in one of her training groups last year. Love Bruno. I was actually just watching a video with Bruno today. I know there's more than one Kylie in Australia, so I just want to make sure we're talking about the same person. Okay, um, I need a card base. So for anyone who hasn't seen this, this is how I organize my card mats and bases. So I don't always have what I need cut, but for the most part, I can go in here, I can pick a card base and a mat and be on my way. And I'm a little, um, anal about how I organize so so I do not have a whisper white one but I do have flirty flamingo not quite on this one I did a flirty flamingo mat and then a whisper white card base so I think we will do that again 
and I use the subtle folder on this one. Any other votes for a different embossing folder or should I just go with subtle again? I will cut a card base while we are contemplating that. you can hear me where I am I'm yelling as if my phone is a block away. The subtle one, it's one of my favorites too. So subtle and unassuming. Now sometimes what I like to do is run it through both ways so that you get the little strips going up and down and then across but for time's sake I'm just gonna do it the one Oops. and I got mine before they were 3d so mine just works with a clear plate This card is very quick. I thought about putting some kind of text on the front, but I wanted the image to do the talking. And when Mary did hers, she just put the XOXO that's on here in the stamp set on there, but let's just keep the front. I was gonna say plain, but it's not plain. Let's keep it wordless, sentimentless. seepage here. Okay, and then all we have to do is glue this down. We could pop it up, but I'm just going to glue it down. And then there are a few great sentiments in this stamp set. I chose to do Make Today Amazing, and that is in the stamp set. And I use my stamp and Write markers so that I could do both flirty flamingo and real red. So let me show you quickly how I did that. I mean, it's not rocket science, but real red flirty flamingo. Whoops. You want to take your brush tip end. And it can be difficult to see with a light color like flirty flamingo. And I'll turn it and we're going to do amazing This is a great way to get a multicolor sentiment without having a mask. And then give it a huff of hot air, so just to reactivate the ink. And stamp it down. There we go. Isn't it cute? I don't know if I mentioned, uh, there is, it does look like there's a lot of stamps in here because they are reversible. So for the mugs, you can see that they stamp with that, the flowers and that, but if you turn them around, this one stamps solid and the other one stamps with that hole in the middle, but it stamps as a left-handed mug. So it's pretty neat. Okay, so that is it for that card. Stuck. So really cute, and it's a good way to use up that heartfelt paper that's now uh, past Valentine's Day. Okay, so on to the next. We decided bunny and watercolor, correct? I'm just gonna clean up some of this stuff because there's too much in my way. That way. Okay, so the Welcome Easter stamp set is, hi, Feline. Uh, it's a, such an adorable little one, and I'm gonna have an Easter class at my work coming up. So I thought, well, I better get this one. And it's great for babies. Well, anyone. 
but specifically new baby carts. There's like a little thing in here that's creating a little mark. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna stamp. Now, because we're watercoloring, we're not gonna use Versamark, we're gonna use Stays On. You can't watercolor with Memento because it is a water-based stamp, ink, sorry. Um, you are most welcome, Megan. I was doing a fun little technique that uh, I had some stitched leftover rectangles for. You can see there's little bits of stuff in there. So I am just going to stamp that bunny on here using my stays on. Now, because you got to choose the animal and the technique, I'm going to let you choose the sentiment too. And then if someone wants this card, I will mail it out to them because I got the one for my niece. These are all just bonus. And I have so many cards in my craft room, I need to start getting rid of them. Giving them away or, I don't know. Okay, so there's the bunny. So the sentiment options are welcome to the world, little one, which is what I used on this one. There is have a wonderful Easter, happy Easter, sweet friend. And then there's these cute, the bee, the leaves, the flowers, and the grass. So we'll stamp our bunny. I wish we had um, a gray stays on. I sometimes find black is too harsh when you're using <laughs> Megan. I will send you a card. Um, of course, Baleen, you take care too. Um, I wish there was a gray because sometimes the black seems too harsh. The saddle brown stays on is on back order. I think even the jet black is on back order now but I really wish there was a gray one because when you're using those subtles, it seems way too harsh. One thing you need if you're using stays on is the stays on cleaner. It conditions and cleans, cleans and conditions. It does both. There are no dies for this one, but I do have my brother's scan and cut, so if I really wanted to cut it out and didn't, didn't want to fussy cut, I would do that. I've thought a couple of times since I've got my um, scan and cut, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should sell it. Like, I could use that money for other stuff. And then I go and do a project like I did last night with the coloring, and it would have taken me days to fussy cut. Whereas with the scan and cut, from start to finish was probably five minutes. Whoops. So as much as I think, oh, I could use the money for something else, I think I better hang on to it. Also, I got it. I got a good deal. Um, so the Happy Easter does not fit on here. Do you think we should put it on the inside? Also, that's going to be a lot of white. Hmm, the other thing I could do is stamp it on Smoky Slate and have the whole thing gray. Decisions, decisions. Kind of thinking we should have a strip that kind of comes off there. So, hi Sandy. I hope you've had a chance to play with your stamp set, my friend. What colors are in here? So purple is one of the colors that I have the fewest amount of scraps of. I do have some purple posy there. Kind of thinking this needs something in behind it. Instead of stitching it, maybe we'll just leave it like that. Sandy, I had done a sample of this one. Oh, that's good. Um, I had done a sample of this one. The card base is purple posy. 
since we can't use the ink, I'm using the cardstock. So I had made this one. I have, my niece was born this morning, nine weeks early, so this is gonna be for her. I don't think her mom is watching tonight, which is good, because she's still in the hospital. Um, but I wanted to do another card like that using one of the other animals from the Welcome Easter stamp set. But I think this might be a little bit too much white. So let's cut this down. That's better, like with the Purple Posy mat. That's too much. This would also look super cute if you use the So Sentimental or the Stwit, the Stwitched, the Stitched So Sweetly dies like we used on here would be really cute but I already had this rectangle cut out and we still have one more project to go so I don't want to keep you here all night. So like I mentioned earlier this is the uh, best dressed DSP. I have not used nearly enough of this and I tend to like the B side better because it's stuff like this where it's polka dots or um, tone on tone roses. Well, not tone on tone, it's white with um, purple posy. But they're less florally and floofy. Is that a word? Floofy? Okay, I am not going to adhere this yet because we are going to do a little bit of watercoloring, kind of. So I've got my, I'm gonna put my stays on away. I have got my smoky slate and I'm just gonna add a drop of water with my aqua painter. Really smoosh that around. And like I said, this is only whisper white. I'm not using watercolor paper or the shimmery white. So we dry it off a bit on a wipe and then just very lightly go in and add some gray. And this is stays on so it's not gonna run but I also don't want to go in the same place too many times because it's not watercolor and I don't want the paper to start pilling. So I'm just doing a little gray and white bunny. Whoops, just totally went outside the line there. Okay, and then we'll bring in a little bit of, um, uh, petal pink or blushing red. Let's do petal pink because it is in the dots. Blushing bride is not my favorite pink, but it does have its time and its place. A little pink nose, little pink ears, and that took what a minute. Um, I do before I my stays on the way, I should have stabbed some grass. <laughs> I can't keep crafting forever, Megan, but you can procrastinate on your ironing. You can even blame it on me. But I have got to get some cards made and out in the mail. Okay, so like I said, there were a couple little accent pieces and there's this adorable little bit of grass so we can stamp that to make it look like the bunny is just sitting outside and chilling chilling like a villain you can even put a little bee or some flowers but we're just gonna keep this quick and simple I think even if you don't have kids around or in your life this is gonna be a really cute set for so many things If that little bit of gray bothers you, you can always come in with a little bit of paper towel. I wouldn't recommend wetting it and then walking away and doing it. I thought I had paper towel over here. The other thing you can do is just go over it with a glaze pen. Uh, okay, some grass. So I don't want this to be dark, so I'm just adding some more water. 
Apparently the dogs are out of water, so now you're going to get to hear our female bat the bowls around. We always joke that when she does that, she's saying, you negligent monsters, come feed us. Okay, so there's the grass for the sky. We're just going to use some pool party. And the fun of this one is that you don't have to give it a whole lot of thought. If you want to put more thought into it and take your time and really watercolor it, I would recommend using watercolor paper, not just Whisper White. But because I'm working so quickly and not saturating my paper, it's enough to just use the Whisper White. Not ideal, but it can be done. Okay, and then we'll let that sit for a minute because I don't want it to warp the mat. But on our little piece of Purple Posy, Where's the lid? We are going to stamp our sentiment. Hmm. Could have it off center and have it. It's it's not going to need to be as long as that. But if we have it there. I'll stamp it on here and see how much room we have. Should we use stays on? How about gorgeous grape? It is a little cute bunny, isn't it? Okay, so this is gorgeous grape, so that we've got tone on tone. I know that we've used black stays on for the bunny, but that was because we had to. Now the other thing I thought about doing, because I didn't stamp anything on the inside because I ran out of time, it was literally 7.29 when my timer was going off, you could use the Praiseworthy Pros to put something on the inside. Uh, family, pr protectors and guardians, a source of love, connection and kinship. Bundle of joy, a newborn, a baby that is swaddled and snuggly. I would put celebrate, except that is the one that went through my big shot. Funny story. I looked everywhere for this darn stamp. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Well, it went through my big shot. And I never did contact Stampin' Up! to replace it because it was my fault. So, I mean, if I want to use celebrate, I have to purchase another stamp set. <laughs> my fault. But look, if you have this set, consider using this with the bees because it's got that little honeycomb in there. So I would highly recommend something like this for the inside of any of these cards for babies, especially for babies. Okay, I'm gonna hit this with my heat tool for just a moment. So cover your ears or mute it if you don't want that sound. on here. Does this new uh, microphone let you hear my dog whining? <laughs> Just curious. I swear the other two would die of starvation and thirst if Dixie wasn't the one batting the bowls around. The other two don't do a thing, probably because they don't have to. They know she's got it. Uh -huh. And I'm the only one that's home and upstairs right now, so it's not bothering anyone else. So we'll put this on our mat, give it a little bit of a bend and a roll just to get it lying flat. 
Hopefully it goes on relatively straight. Not bad. I can put it under a bunch of catalogs if I really want it to flatten out. Happy Easter is right here. I'm going to trim that down a little bit. Everyone got very quiet all of a sudden. going to, one, close my door, and two, find something to banner that end with. Okay, and if you know me, you know that my go-to for the banner is always going to be the tailored tag punch. So I always put it in all the way and then back it up so that I don't see the text. Now that wasn't a perfect banner, but pretty close. And if you notice, I didn't use any ribbon on either one of these. Me too, Stacy. I really do. I thought about this one. I was going to use uh, Purple Posy, um, the in color. DSP, but I didn't have enough of this. All I had was a strip. So I thought if I use the roses and then the gingham, it kind of, it creates that band in the middle instead of using ribbon. You could certainly use ribbon, but I find just having something that kind of goes across accomplishes the same thing. Now for this card, we don't need an insert. For this one we do, because of course it's not whisper white. Yeah, I'm not always a huge fan of pinks either, Jenny. Depends on the project. Let me show you one I did a few weeks ago that had a lot of pink. I don't know if I ever posted that one. That is the Happy Birthday stamp set and the dies, and then the sentiment is from um, So Sentimental. Not my usual style, but boy, was it fun with all these pretty dyes and the water coloring. It's a lot of fun to do. And then, ironically, the DSP that we're using tonight from uh, Dress to Impress, or whatever it's called. Okay, so I'm not gonna cut this yet. I am going to put a dimensional on this side, right about where that H is. And then I'm going to put glue here. So if I put a dimensional on that side, it's going to be too high up. So move this a little bit closer. Just a little bit. Scissors. I find it easier to cut from the back because I can line it up to the cardstock and then just trim that. So there we go. All that we need to do on this one is an insert on the inside with a sentiment, which will be from here. Actually, no, this one's Easter. We could put just have a wonderful Easter from this stamp set in there. But I am going to move on to the last project because I've already been live for an hour and I have stuff to do. I have to drive my son to his program this week in the mornings and pick him up so I lose two hours of my day so time is of the essence okay so that project number one this project number two it was kind of fun asking you guys what you wanted to see and seeing those responses because I never would have put these three projects together ever. A coffee cup, a bunny, and the bees? Never. Okay, so for this, super quick. Um, we can use any of this paper. I think I'm going to use this one because I have so much of it. 
more. We use that one. Let's use that one. This could not be easier, as long as I remember what I'm doing. So we want to, you can use a bone folder or something to kind of get this round, but we're going to use a piece of tear and tape. You could use liquid glue, but you're gonna to have to wait for it to set. So you're gonna put a strip along the bottom and you're gonna put strips on either side. Try not to cover part of it like I just did. Okay, you should take your pick tool to get that release paper off. Can you hear her? Dave's home, so once he comes in and upstairs, he'll be able to do that, but can you seriously hear that? I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh no. Have a good night, Jenny, thank you. Um, you take care. I When I did this before, I did not put the tear and tape on right away. But we're gonna see how this goes. So we need to meet these ends. And then all we're gonna do, we do need a little bit more. Usually you would just put it on that end. So don't listen when I said that you could put both parts on at the same time, because all you need is one along the seam and one at either end. And I was hoping I had gotten that in the right place, but like I said, I hadn't done it that way before. Okay, so now we're just gonna pinch that together. And last year, um, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Um, last year Stampin' Up! actually had dies for a sour cream container, so it was easy, but seriously, it, it doesn't get easier than this. And I just messed up because I told you I was going to put the die cut in there, but I can't because I've already done this. So if I die cut it now, that's going to be glued together and we won't be able to do that. So all you have to do is, let me backtrack, I'm not going to do it. But all you have to do is on. So I would start by doing this, and you decide that your die cutting needs to be there. Well, lie it flat, lay out your die cut, and all I did was I put some vellum in behind here. You probably can't see that. And then I stamped my little B. We're gonna take that one off there since I wrecked this one now. Um, but all you're gonna do is put your die cut there, put your tear and tape on, Seal the back, seal that end, seal this end, and there's your basis. So, let's put some of these in here. Since they're all sitting on my table. Neither does ours. I don't know why it was ever called a sour cream container. But I remember we used to have, um, when I was a kid, there used to be like, um, basically popsicles or some kind of like frozen treat that would come in these and you had to like sit there and lick it and the th like just imagining my mouth touching this paper gives me the chills, freaks me out. But yeah, we don't have sour cream in this either. I can't imagine sour cream coming like this. But look how easy that was. One four by six sheet of paper, if I didn't mention that before, it's four by six. Put your tear and tape along the back if you're doing die cutting, do it before you put your tear and tape, before you release your tear and tape, and that's it. So on this one, I did the beehive, yes, the hive and the bee, and then all I did, the only reason I punched this hole was because my tear and tape wasn't sticking at the top. But if you leave it long enough, it will stick. And the other thing you could do, instead of putting that hole in, is use some of these little mini library clips or any clips that you have. But if you wound some ribbon on here and you use these little clips, stink escape, sour cream. Oh, weird. Yeah, I can't imagine it. But you could just use a little clip like this or any kind of binder clip to keep it close. So you don't have to use tear and tape and a hole punch and all of this extra business. 
And now that I've destroyed this one, there's no going back. But um, I think I'm going to call that finished. I know that I didn't actually finish this, but I showed you the sour cream container. Um, there's different ways you can decorate it. So you can use itty bitty greetings. You can use the sentiment from the honeybee stamp set. So that was the hello. There's thank you. Uh, you could use a get well. Like seriously, any greeting from itty bitty greetings would fit. This is the ornate tags, ornate frames, guys. And that's it. So kind of two and three quarters of a project. But this one I stamped using Memento on vellum. Let's take this little guy off. And I colored it on the back. Because of course, if you color on vellum with the Memento, it's gonna run. So if you turn it around and you color on the back side, it can't run. I'm not sure which one to put this on. But it gives it a completely different look in vellum, doesn't it? I don't have anything handy that has the bees right now to show you them on the black and white, like on Whisper White. Do I? I do not. All I have is my little Shrinky Dink card from a few weeks ago. So that is on Shrinky Dinks. This one is vellum. That is obviously the metallic paper, but I know I have something that has the Whisper White bees. I just don't have it handy. So we are going to call that a night. I will upload this to YouTube. So if you're catching it on YouTube, you can head on back to Facebook and share it, or you can share it on YouTube. You can share it however you want to share it and you will be entered. You have to come back and say that you shared it because of privacy. I can't tell who has shared it. So if you want to be eligible to win the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set next week, then come back and tell me that you shared it. Okay? So that is all. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Stacy. Um, if you haven't gone and liked my Facebook page, I would love it if you would do that. And uh, we will see you soon, my crafty friends. Good night.